Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're taking a look at today is the Nvidia Shield, and that's why you see the Shield hub up here. This is just going to be a kind of a basic overview. We're not going to dive into every single thing this thing does, but I wanted to give you a sense of what you get from an Nvidia Shield. A little bit of information for you here. This has got a very, very powerful processor. It's got two USB 3.0 ports and one mini USB 2.0 port and an SD card slot. The reason all of those things are important is because it allows you to plug in numerous accessories, keyboards, air mouse, things like that. And that kind of separates it from other products like, say, the Nexus player from Asus. You're taking a look at some of the apps that we have installed here. You get them all from the Google Play Store, which is not like the Google Play Store that you find on something like one of the unlocked Android devices. What this is, is it's a Google Play Store for the TV-ready apps. So this is something that you can use a normal remote controller or the provided game controller to navigate, handle without you know, needing an air mouse and swiping and things like that there are lots of games in it which of course is part of the focus of the nvidia shield these of course are just games from the android store or from you know the google play store and lots of media apps android tv devices don't have the amount of apps that you find in some of the other ones roku Apple TV and Fire TV to be exact. But what they do pack in is a lot of the stuff that people are most familiar with. In fact, most people who don't really know a whole lot about streaming would just, you know, they would know Netflix, maybe Crackle and Hulu possibly. You know, most people aren't even aware of Plex, which is actually a very nice app on the device. So you see, you know, the way it keeps things organized. It's very nice. This Plex is something for your home media and for accessing even channels from Plex. But we'll dive into that a little bit more later. Up top here, you see a group of suggested features. And where these come from is apps that are available on the NVIDIA Shield. I've got a lot of them installed already, but like that that's apparently, you know, that's the intern, that's something on Google Play. See, that's on Crackle, what's this on, FX Now. But what it's doing is making recommendations based on the availability of these apps. And if you notice in the background, you get a nice fan art sort of look, or that it's more of a, like the official posters. But I like that because it reminds me of what happens on something like Cody. When you're browsing through media, you get the different look, as long as they're selling apparently the Danish girl doesn't have a poster. But in general, it just kind of makes the experience a little bit more immersive. Something else nice about NVIDIA Shield and the Android TV platform is that if you want to sideload apps, you can access them from this thing called the Sideload Launcher. And that's pretty cool. Uh, the thing about Android devices is there is a whole nother ecosystem of Android-based apps. Like, for instance, we've picked up the Amazon Android app. This is something that's like an Amazon app store for Android devices. And that's not going to add itself to the standard apps that are available on this device. But... Because you can just download the sideload launcher, but I mean, right from the Google Play Store, I'll show you. Say, go to search. Say, sideload launcher. See, there it is. It's just an app that's in there already. And all you have to do is ask for it. And of course, what you're seeing now is the basic search function of the device. Let's ask for another app. 
Netflix. Boop. You get Netflix and related things. The voice search on this is really pretty good. I, I, we'll give it a look right here. Let's say uh, comedy movies. So this gives you an idea of the accuracy of the voice search. It's pretty simple to use. And both the game remote and the extra regular like TV, you know, TV style remote. Both have a simple-to-use microphone that allows you to do this. And I don't know whether you notice. I'll go back to it again. Comedy movies. It gives you selections from both, say, their own service. Here you've got YouTube. you got Hulu. So it gives you a decent kind of cross-platform look at it. Let's see what this is actually from. Oh, that's a Google Play, and it's available on Hulu. You have to appreciate that sort of thing. Fan TV. Haven't heard of fan TV. Okay. So... That gives you a bit of a look as to how the search works. Now, this is running on Android 5.1.1 at this point. And if you look in your settings area, you'll see the familiar kind of Android setup. This is what it looks like when you have 5.1.1, otherwise known as Lollipop. You can access your site, you know, when you sign into your own Google account, that allows you to jump into any other Google function without having to sign in again, which is great. And you can access all of your main settings from this pretty simple to navigate menu. Google Cast is another important feature of this device. That means that you can use anything that has an app like a Chromecast app. Uh, just by launching it using the same basic function. I'll show you. I'm just going to open up YouTube or something. Let's see. I'm using my iPad real quick. You see that I have not actually opened YouTube on the screen. And we'll just launch good old Cinema Sense in just a second. Let's let the commercial go by. So you don't have to watch the commercial before the thing. So, here we are. It's going to launch in just a second. So this is playing on the shield on my iPad. Come on, don't let me down now. There we go, YouTube. And so you see I just launched YouTube from my iPad onto the screen. If you've never checked out Cinema Sins, that's actually a whole lot of fun. You can get addicted to just watching you know, everything wrong with this or everything wrong with that. They're part of a big group of really creative people. Now, something else about the Shield, of course, is their games. Um, Shield is designed as a game console and streamer, and through the shield games you can access games that are kind of really good for the device a lot of them come directly from the actual play store but it's sort of their own little selection you know and recommendations and on top of that you've got geforce which i haven't started with yet i wanted to explore it a little bit more but geforce is nvidia's own game service kind of like gamefly and if you notice they give you three months for free just for getting started with it. So that's cool. Uh, the things that you're going to find on G GeForce are more high-end games. Probably the tip of the crown for this device, though, is that if you are a high-end gamer with a 
game PC, you know, where there's like dedicated game computers, you can stream the games from that computer to the NVIDIA Shield and play it in real time. There's very little latency. I haven't had a chance to use it myself because I don't have a game PC. But that is one of the cooler things about the device, and it's something that a lot of people are trying to catch up with. So that is a little bit about the NVIDIA Shield. Like I said, we're going to have a whole lot more. We're going to be taking a look at apps. We're going to take a look at the GeForce service and bring more to you. But we just wanted to give you a look at it. You might have seen it before, but I wanted to give you my take. I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Please subscribe. We just broke over 5,000 a couple of weeks ago, and we're trying to make it to six. As always, stream on, my friends.